Back Bay was founded in 2011 by a group of Virginia Beach friends with deep roots in the area. While on a hunting trip in the duck blind, they discussed their dreams of owning a brewery, and in under a year, Back Bay Brewing went from idea to reality. Back Bay is home to an impressive array of beers, as well as an awesome upstairs area that's dubbed The Blind, in which they hold concerts featuring various local artists. These spaces can also be rented for private events. They feature a hunt club, which is their take on a mug club, and it comes with perks such as catered dinner parties, sneak peeks on upcoming beers, and tickets to marquee events. As of this video, Back Bay has just announced the opening of their farmhouse location that features a nine acre property, four of which are dedicated to cultivating their own ingredients. It also creates many opportunities for them to further their farm to table ideals and will allow them to fully move to an all in-house production. So let's dive into the blind and see what it's all about. Hey guys, Andy and Sandra back again with another brew review. Today we're checking out Back Bay Brewing in Virginia Beach. We have four beers today. We're gonna go into the first one right away because I want to drink some beer. All right, so the first beer we have today is uh, called False Cape. It's a 5.2% red ale. Um, don't know too much about this one, but we're going to try it and find out. It's very malty. It's not super bitter. Some red ales are like really coppery tasting to me, like pennies. No. That one doesn't have that quality to it. It definitely is is got that malt forward character to it, but it's not pennies in your mouth. It's a little lighter in body though than I would expect. And at 5.2%, crushable. Yeah. So what'd you give it? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a four. I think I'll give it a four as well. Hmm? Yeah. yeah? I like it. So moving on. Um I think we should do this one. Yeah. This one's the Styrian Wolf. It is a an IPA. The backstory on this particular beer, I, I didn't even know this was a thing, yeah. but apparently there's door-to-door -door hop sales people. One visited Back Bay here and uh, basically asked if somebody was interested in smelling and buying hops. It turns out that those hops are now used in this beer. Those hops incidentally come from like Belt? Um, no, it was like Slovakia Slovak. or Slovenia or something like that. Not sure. They're called Styrian hops. If anybody knows, pop it down in the comments below. I'd love to find out. Might Google it later because that's yeah, really bizarre. Strange. So this should taste a little bit different than everything yeah. we're, we've been used to so far. It's exotic. I'm curious. Uh-oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit fruity on the nose. <laughs> yeah, it's, do you get like a, like some sort of cheesiness to it? Um, yes, at the end, almost like a cheddar cheese. Yeah, like a, like a sharp cheddar. Like a smooth cheddar. Yes. Right? I'm getting, yeah, on the tongue, definitely. That's a really interesting, let me taste this again. It even smells like different than you would expect an IPA to smell like. That is so unique. I've never tasted anything like that. I'm getting a taste of like cheddar cheese at the end. Like yeah, it's cheese. cheese. But, but <laughs> it sounds bad, but it's not yeah. It's not what, I mean, we're not what I'm saying. Like it's not like funky moldy cheese. It's gr like freshly grated yeah. uh, cheddar, cheddar. That's yeah. so weird. I kind of like that though. I mean, we both are huge cheese lovers, so there's that. I mean, that's yeah. that plays to our advantage a little bit. But I, I've never tasted anything remotely even like this beer. No, that is, that is strange. But it's good. It's like you want to keep drinking it, though. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a four and a half yeah. right now, just because... All right, let me, let me explain. Let me backtrack a little bit. It's extremely balanced, even with the crazy hops in there. Yeah. Um, and that's a saving grace. I think like the, the, if, if this were more hop forward than it is, I think it would overtake the beer completely. Yeah, definitely. I think that, that think hop the character, there. yeah, the balance the is definitely balance. there. Um, and it's only 5.1%, so it's a low 
ABV beer that you can just drink all day, pretty much. It's it's super. But there's so much. It's super interesting. I've never had anything that. like that. I mean, you get you get hops, and you get that cheddar flavor to it. For lack of a better word, I mean, this is what I'm tasting. But you also get the maltiness of it. Yeah. So there's you get maltiness as the backbone. You get the hop character, but then you also get that that note of cheese. At the very, very end, and it's very big. It's like you have to, like, it's like you don't know what it is until you really think about it, and then you're like... Okay. Vague, vague would be the term that I would use to describe yeah. that. Uh, yeah, I agree. I like that one a lot. Yeah, that's good. It's nice. It's unique. All right, so we got the Best Coast, which is a cask IPA. It's, uh, like I said, it's a northeastern style IPA. Cool. It's on cask, and it's 6.4%. So, and in this beer, they brewed it, uh, they dry hopped it with citra. They used Centennial and Amarillo hops in order to kind of get that nice, dry, bitter finish to it. That has been a trend that I'm noticing yeah. in these beers, is they're kind of dry. So it looks great. It looks like a typical juicy IPA. Well, I'll let you defer to that one because you love those beers. Yeah. Okay, my turn. Mm. 6.4%. The smell certainly, it smells like what you'd expect, but it's not, it's not like, like most, most IPAs like rise out of the glass and like really attack your senses, but like this one is very subtle. Okay, I was expecting a little bit more punch to that one. See, yeah, I think I'm missing a bit of the body here. The body is what's missing. missing some body here. Carbonation seems a little bit low, but again, that's the casket play probably. I kind of like that one though. Yeah, I can chill on that one. That one's good. Yeah, it, it's definitely hop forward, but it's balanced enough to where it makes it like not for a six and a half percent beer. It's not kind of an overwhelming experience. Yeah, I like that. That's good. Yeah, what's, Smooth. What's your rating on it? Um, <laughs> I'm actually going to go with the four on that one. So am I. Yeah. Yeah. I, I really, like, the more I drink it, I'm just like, oh, this, this I don't have a ton of experience with cast beers, but I mean, that one, it's smooth. It's good. I like it. It's like the, the low rider of IPAs right there. It's like real easy going. Uh, so the last one we have today is Old Spicy. That's the strongest one we have here, so. This is, I believe, 8% of some sort. Um, it's an old ale. 8.3 or 8.6, I believe. Um, this one has been aged for four months. In um, whiskey barrels. Oh, oh, man. I hate whiskey so much. Why am I doing this to myself today? I don't I, right off the bat, it smells like whiskey, but it doesn't smell like straight up whiskey. Some of these, sometimes, they you can. Oh, yeah. it's really whiskey-y. Okay. So it's actually also brewed with uh, chili peppers. Oh. Like on I, chili. I just, yeah, okay. Yeah. So aged in whiskey barrels and then brewed in some other arbol, the chili of some sort. Okay, I'm getting the whiskey property. Yeah, the whiskey's right there. Okay, so sometimes these beers taste like they make a beer, but then they yeah. pour some whiskey in it. This one is tastes like the whiskey is part of the beer. I'm not getting much of the peppers. peppers yeah. I'm not getting a lot of pepperiness. I guess I was expecting spiciness or like. It doesn't taste like a like like a ten percent something beer. It's eight. It doesn't taste like an eight percent something beer. Yeah, it's actually weirdly smooth for an eight percent beer. That. Maybe we should start drinking more old ales. So it's done. I think it's done well. Yeah, it's very done. It's, it's really done very well. One. Wow. Okay. I am getting. You know what? You starting to get the pepper? I'm starting to get the pepper, but it's weird. Like at the very end. It's really it's faint. Very faint and big, yeah. Which I guess is good because. I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't want that, that particular flavor yeah. taking over the beer for sure. But I would like to taste a little bit more of it just because it's different. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Put that pepper in there a little bit stronger, and that would be something that pushed it over the edge into something different, maybe. Man, I'm going to go with the four on that one. I didn't think I would go that high, Four but and a half. it's actually really good. Huh. That's nice. I really like that. Yeah, wow. Kind of, you know, we had all these amber beers today and then one IPA, so we did things a little bit differently today. Yeah, for you guys, for you.
Oh, got one more for you guys. What so is cool. this? What is it? So this one is a um, it's a farmhouse strawberry wheat. So over at our new facility at the farmhouse, uh, we have it's on nine acres, and four of the acres are for crops. So we're going to be doing a lot of um, essentially like farm to glass. Uh, Nice. Style beers. So, so this one was 150 pounds of strawberries that we grew out there. Had to process and clean and puree and then throw into a, a really light body wheat beer. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try it. <laughs> Bro, that is really good. Bro. Wait, wait, wait. What's the alcohol percentage on this? Um, it, it's about five and a half. Five and a half? Yeah, so it's still light and easy That's to drink. That's super good. But it's hard to get those strawberries. It's such like a... That strawberry is so natural tasting. Yep. Yeah, yeah so that's I don't use really... any, any artificial flavors. Whoa. Or, um, in there. That is really nice. I'm getting a lot of strawberries, but it's super fresh. Like it just tastes like there's just mm. a ton of strawberries. Just like, oh. mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like that's exactly what was. That's yeah, really that's good. Exactly <laughs> good. <Yeah. laughs> that is like super, super good though. That's really wow. Nice. All right, thanks, man. Yeah. Appreciate Thank you it so much. Well, that was a head brewer right there, gifting us a uh, strawberry wheat, and that is fantastic. Yeah. Damn, that beer is good. That's really good. This is a great beer. The strawberry is very powerful. Not overbearing, but it's very present in this beer. Um, not getting a whole ton of like the weedy properties. It's there, but it's not like the main focus. The main focus is absolutely those fresh strawberries that are grown on site, as you said. Um, I think you can tell it's a wheat style beer. Absolutely. And then the strawberry on the nose when you smell it. It's not, it smells like just freshly muddled strawberries. Again, very dry. And that's yeah. that's the trend that we're noticing here. But it's, it just tastes like fresh cut strawberries. That's so good. The trend here in Virginia Beach where pretty much every brewery has a growler machine. Every single so one. You, and you can pretty much take anything that they have on the tap, put in a 32 ounce growler and take it to go which I'm definitely trying to do with this. Yeah. Super, super good. I'm glad he gave us that little bonus. That was fun. Yeah. That's nice. So what, what's the rating? It's my style of beer, straight up. I, I gotta give it a top hop rating of five. Yeah. I, I mean, it's, it's delicious. This is a perfect beer for today where it's like super 90 high. degrees, we're at the beach. This should be flying off the shelves right now. It really it, it's a five it's for me, no question. It's, yeah. it's stupid good. Ah, oh, there's no more. It's really good. Definitely a five. Yeah. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, that's it from Back Bay today. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below, and hit that bell button for the notifications. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, and cheers. Tell me your face, what you think of it. Although now I can't, I'm not able. Well hey guys, that's it for us today. Thanks for tuning in and watching the channel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below and leave comments. That's not right. All right guys, well that's it for today. <laughs>